today I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend, but I can mix anything into a mob. For example, if I mix some TNT with an iron golem and then flick the lever, we'll get a TNT golem. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. And of course, I'll be secretly cheating with this one-way glass wall to see exactly what mobs Rainy mixes. Alrighty, Rainy, are you ready for this epic mixing mob battle? Oh, I'm so excited. Let's do it. All right, we've each got five minutes to mix our mobs. Good luck. All right, so now it's the first round and Rainy can't hear me. So let's see what he's gonna do first. Okay, the dash is definitely not gonna be ready for this. I'm gonna get a bunch of these leaf meats and just throw a bunch of them in here just like that. Perfect, let's throw a few more just for some more deadly power. Leaf meat? Wait, what could he be possibly doing with that? And then on this side, I'm gonna spawn in a bunch of creepers. Wait, what? I have a feeling like I know what this is. And now I just gotta flick the lever. Oh my God, we spotted our mutant creeper. This guy's so cool. Wait, did Rainy just spawn in a mutant creeper? Oh no, this thing looks insanely powerful. Come on, Sparky, it's time to let you out of your cage. Come on, puppy. Just hope in this, just like that. And boom, now you can come through. Okay, well, if Rainy's gonna spawn a mutant creeper, then we're gonna need to use another explosive mob to counter this. And I think I know exactly what we can use. So everyone knows what an iron golem is, right? You know, they're pretty powerful, but I don't think it'll be enough to take out Rainy's mutant creeper. So what if we mix this with TNT? So let's just go inside of our first area over here and let's just spawn in an iron golem just like that. And over here in the other side, let's just go ahead and put down one TNT. There we go. And now we can just flick the lever to combine them. We get a TNT golem. Oh my gosh, look at this dude. There is no way we are losing to Rainy's mutant creeper. Hmm, something I just realized though, the TNT golem isn't nearly as big as Rainy's mutant creeper. So I'm not sure if one of them is gonna be able to take out his mob. But wait, I have an even better idea. What if we go ahead and spawn in a netherite golem? This way, it's just gonna confirm that we 100% win the round. So let's just go ahead and have our iron golem there. And then we can put a block of nether right here, just like that. And now if we just go ahead and flick the lever, we have a netherite golem. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Since netherite is one of the hardest blocks in the game, I don't think there's any chance that Rainy's mutant creeper can even blow this guy up. All right, well, our army is looking pretty good and there's no way we're losing against Rainy's mutant creeper, but we've still got a few minutes before the walls drop. Let's go see what Rainy's doing. And wait, is this guy riding around on a jet ski? Hold on, we need to go mess with him a bit. Let's quickly grab a potion of invisibility. And now that we're invisible, let's head over onto his side. All right, here we are. And he has no idea that we're here. Oh man, this jet ski is so much fun. Okay, it seems like Rainy's having a bit too much fun. We can't have that. But hmm, how could we prank him? Wait, I know. Let's quickly grab this one dynamite called the freeze dynamite. And I'm pretty sure if we just throw it over here at his little pool, it'll turn the entire thing into ice. So let's just go over here. And while he's not looking, let's just toss it. There we go. Wait, what the heck happened to my pool? I was just riding around on my jet ski. Oh, wait a minute. I guess it is winter time. That must have made us all cold and made it all icy. I completely forgot. Oh my gosh. This is so funny. He thinks it's ice because it's winter. But at least I can still ride around on my jet ski. Oh, wait. It seems like he can still ride around. Okay, we need to stop that. Let's just quickly toss another one right over here. And there we go. Wait, more ice? Are you serious? Now I can only ride in one direction. This sucks. Wait, he can still ride? Okay, we need to quickly toss one over here and trap him in over there. <laughs> Wait, what? Now my jet ski stuck in the ice? No! Oh my gosh, this is so funny. He can't even get to his jet ski. Oh man, this really sucks. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Dash! Uh, Rainy, what happened? Well, I was waiting for you since you're so slow, obviously, and I was running around on my jet ski, right? And I didn't know where the platform turned to ice, but I figured since it's winter, that made it ice. But now my jet ski's stuck in the ice. Your jet ski is stuck in the ice. Oh, well, you know, that's pretty unlucky. You shouldn't be riding around on a jet ski in the middle of winter. Why not? Uh, well, because this could happen. I guess that makes sense. But now I want to get my jet ski. I guess I got to chisel it out. Yeah, I guess you just have to mine the ice manually. All right. I just got to carve it out just like this. Boom. Wait, no, I just broke my jet ski. What? Oh, no, that is pretty unfortunate, Rainy. Oh, man, that really sucks. I spent so much money on that. Well, anyways, Rainy, the walls are going to be dropping soon, so you better get ready. Oh, no, I got to hurry. Oh, my gosh, that was so funny. He managed to break his own jet ski. Well, anyways, Rainy, are you ready to drop down the walls? Oh, I'm ready. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Whoa, wait, Dash, what is this thing? This is a TNT golem, and I just mixed an iron golem with TNT, and then this came out. Wait, what in the world? 
world is this? Dash, is that a netherite golem? Yes, it is. And wait, it looks like they've started the battle. Here we go. Oh, this looks like an easy win for me. Come on, Dash. You know I'm too good. Oh, no, this is not good. My TNT golem just died, but I think my netherite golem's got this. No way. What? Wait, he didn't blow up? Let's go. That was too easy. Rainy, netherite is like the most powerful block in the game. Of course, it's not going to explode. Oh, man, that sucks. I really thought I had that one. Wait a minute. Dash, where are you? Oh, I'm just uh watching from really far away, you know, so I can get the best view. Hmm, I don't see you anywhere, but okay, that sounds fun. Oh, no, he almost knew that we were invisible. Let's quickly grab some milk so we can get rid of our invis. There we go. All right, Rainy, I just came back down. Here I am. Oh, hi, Dash. Well, anyways, it looks like I win this round, and that sets the score to one. 0 and first the three points wins it all. All right, Dash, you may have won that round, but I'm definitely not taking it easy on you anymore. All right, we'll see about that. Oh, man, Dash definitely isn't ready for this. I'm gonna throw these extra cool apples in here just like that. Wait, what are those apples? Those don't look like normal enchanted golden apples. Those must be some sort of super golden apples. And now I'm gonna throw a couple zombies in here just like that. Hmm, zombies and super enchanted golden apples. What could this be? And now I can flick this lever and whoa, look, it's a golden apple zombie. Wait, Wait, a golden apple zombie? I've never heard of one of these before. This thing looks insane. Oh, no. Well, since it's a golden apple zombie, then it probably has a lot of health because, you know, it, its head is literally a golden apple, it seems. Well, hmm. If Rainy's gonna be playing with zombies, then I think I know the perfect counter. We're gonna make an infected zombie. And I think an infected zombie should be a good counter for this because it'll do a bunch of poison damage. So over here in the left room, let's go ahead and spawn in a zombie. There we go. And to make it so he gets infected over here in the right side, let's go ahead and put down a slime block. There we go. And now we can just go ahead and flick this lever. And whoa, look at this guy. This is definitely an infected zombie. It's probably carrying a lot of diseases, which are gonna do a lot of damage to Rainy's enchanted golden apple zombie. So let's just go over here and let this guy out real quick. Come on, right this way, sir. You just gotta exit through the door. Yeah, we are definitely winning this round. But first, let's see what Rainy he's up to now. Let's see. I feel like I might got a couple of this guy's eggs. I could spawn a bunch of them. So let me take his egg like that and perfect. Wait, he's getting his mob's egg. Wait, what could he be doing with that? And now I'm going to jump in here and toss a bunch of the eggs in on this side. Wait, is he mixing his mob with another one of his own mobs? What? And now I'll do it like that. And now I have to do is flick this lever. Whoa, I can't believe it actually worked. Oh my gosh. Wait, so are you telling me that if I combine two of my mobs, I'll get an absolutely ginormous one? Oh, Oh, man, we definitely need to try that because there's no way one little guy on our side is going to be able to take out that huge zombie. So I'm pretty sure all we have to do is just go over to our infected zombie and then just grab his spawn egg. There we go. And now we can just toss a bunch of his spawn eggs over here on one side and toss a bunch more on this other side. And I'm pretty sure now if I flick this lever, we'll get an absolutely huge zombie. But wait, I just flicked the lever. Where is it? Wait, it's on top of the platform because it's too big. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well, anyways, I'm pretty sure now that we have both a big guy and a small guy, we should win this round. But of course, just to be sure, now that I have the spawn egg for our infected zombie, we can just go ahead and spawn in a bunch of them. And it seems like Rainy's doing the same. He's also spawning in a bunch of his guys. Well, it should be fine because we're still gonna win. Well, we've still got a few minutes again before the walls drop. So of course, let's go and prank Rainy. Except, hmm, this time instead of going invis, what if we morph into one of his mobs? So using this one mob, we can can just instantly morph into one of Rainy's mobs, just like that. And now that we blend right in with Rainy's army, we can just go over to his side and he has no idea that we're here. And let's see what this guy's up to. Oh man, I couldn't afford a jet ski anymore, so I got this boat instead. This really sucks. Wait, did Rainy repair his pool? Well, if Rainy can repair his pool that quickly, then I don't think it's a good idea to freeze it again because, you know, it's easy to repair. So what type of prank could we do here? Hmm. Wait, I know. Let's quickly grab this one item called the Gauntlet of the Guard. And if we use this item, we can basically pull any mob our direction just like that. So let's just go ahead and grab all of Rainy's mobs and let's throw them inside of his pool. Here we go. Here we go. Just got to go this way above his pool and let's just drop them all. There we go. Wait a minute. Did I just see my mobs flying through the air? Whoa, you guys can fly. I didn't know you had that ability. That's so cool. Well, guys, welcome to the pool party. It's so epic in here. Wait, he thinks that they just 
flew in into his pool party? Okay, this is not good. Hmm, how can we prank him now? Wait, I know. Let's quickly grab this one item called the wool dynamite. And I'm pretty sure if we throw it, it'll just turn everything into wool. So let's just go over here and let's just toss it just like that. Wait, what? Now my pool's made out of wool? That's even better than before. Let's go. Oh, no. Don't tell me we just made his pool even better. All right. Well, hmm. There's got to be some way that we can prank him. And wait, is he jumping on a diving board? Wait, I know exactly how we can prank him. Using commands, we can replace all of the water in Rainy's pool with some fake water. And fake water basically just looks like normal water, but it's actually poisonous. So let's just quickly run this command. And there we go. And look, his mobs are taking damage. Wait, what? Did my mobs just die? I guess they're just not water mobs. But I guess it's time for me to take a dip on the water anyway. So it's all good. Let's just jump in here. And there we go. Wait, what? Why is the water hurting? Ow, ow, ow. What? Oh my gosh, this is so funny. He's stranded in the middle of his pool. Oh no, I gotta make my way across, but I have no blocks. All right, let's see how he's gonna get out of this. Let me try to jump on this right here. And oh, that was too close. And now all I gotta do is break this just like that. And oh, my own zombies are attacking me. What? <laughs> that is so funny. His own mobs are attacking him. Well, I guess I'll just stay here until the walls drop. <laughs> that is so funny. Well, anyways, let's quickly go back over to our side before we draw any more suspicion. All right, Rainy, are you ready for the walls to be dropped? Yeah, but something really weird happened. Uh, what happened? Well, I was taking a dive in my pool and then the water started to hurt me out of nowhere. The water started to hurt you. Wait, when was the last time you cleaned out water? Hmm, when was January again of 2022? No, it was 2019. Yeah, how long ago was that? Wait, Rainy, that was like four years ago. You have to clean the water like every month. Wait, what? No one told me that. That's probably why it turned poisonous. Aw, man. Well, anyways, Rainy, ready or not, I'm dropping down the walls in three, two, one. Here we go. Whoa, wait, what are those mobs, Dash? These are infected zombies, and there's no way we're losing this. Just look at them. These guys are pretty scary. I don't know if my mob can take them. Yep, yeah, it looks like your mobs are dying just left and right. There's no way you're winning. Oh, no. Come on, guys. We can still win this. Just keep fighting. Oh, Rainy, here we go. It looks like you've only got a few guys left. There is no way you're winning this. No, come on. My guys definitely got this. Wait, did they just two-shot my big guy? Oh, no. This is not good. Oh, here we go. Come on, my guys. You guys got this. Wait, why are my guys keep getting one-shotted? It looks like my guys finally turned on their special ability. Wait, they have a special ability? Oh, no. I didn't know about that. Of course you wouldn't know about that. And wait, I think all of my guys just died. Oh, no. This is not good. Well, Rainy, I guess you win that round. And that puts the score to 1-1. One, one. So let's move on to the next round. All right, Rainy, for the next round, do you want to go onto the moon so we can use moon mobs? Whoa, the moon? How are we going to get there? Well, I actually have this rocket that we can use to do just that. So just go into the rocket and click the moon. And whoa, Rainy, we're on the moon. Whoa, this is so cool out here. Yep, yeah, we've even got these super cool looking space helmets. Wow, this is awesome. Well, anyways, let's begin the mob battle. All right, so it's the next round and there's actually a very specific reason I decided to come on the moon because there's this one super OP mob that I don't think Rainy knows about and we're gonna use it. But of course, first, let's see what Rainy's gonna do. Let's go ahead and put a bunch of purple scales in here just like that. Purple scales? Wait, what could this possibly be? And then on the other side, we're gonna put in these tree frogs. Wait, frogs and purple scales? Hmm, this is a pretty weird combination. There's no way this could be good. And now all I gotta do is hit the lever. Whoa, it was so big it spawned in the ceiling. That's crazy. Wait, his mob was so big that it spawned on the ceiling? What even is that thing? Hold on, we need to get a better look. Let's quickly grab another potion of invisibility and let's head over onto his side. All right, here we are and wait, what in the world is this? Is this like some sort of mega frog? Wow, this mega frog is so OP. There's no way we're gonna lose. All right. Well, this frog may be kind of powerful, but of course, the mob that I'm gonna spawn is gonna be like 10 times more powerful. So let's go back over to our side and then we can spawn it in. All right, guys. Well, if we're gonna wanna beat Rainy's mob, then I know exactly what we have to spawn. We're gonna need to spawn an electric head. And the only way to spawn one is to mix a balloon and a magma slime. And getting the magma slime is pretty easy. We can just get it from our creative inventory and then we can just put it down here just like that. But to get the balloon, we have to go and look for a moon base because you can't get it from the creative menu. So let's just quickly go all the way over here. Hopefully Rainy doesn't notice that I'm gone and let's quickly get out of the arena for a second. Here we go. And now we just have to look around for a moon base. And wait, I think there's actually one right there. All right, we gotta be quick because the walls are gonna be dropping soon and we have to be back in time. I don't 
want Rainy to know that I was gone. Man, we were so lucky to find a moon base this close. This is gonna be good. All right, so here we are, and let's quickly knock on the door. May I enter? Uh, who are you? Why, hello there. My name is Dash, and I'm currently doing a mob battle with my friend, and I have to win, and I need your help. Mm. I don't know if I should let you in. You don't seem to be of the moon species. No, no, no. I'm just a normal human, but I'm super OP and cool. I can help you guys with a lot of things. You have one minute to speak. All right. Thank you very much. So, Mr. Scientist, I need to get a balloon spawn egg to win this mob battle, and I'll do anything that you need to get it. So what do I got to do? Anything you say? I will give you one of those, but you have to give me 10 moon amethyst ore. 10 moon amethyst ore, but wait, I don't have a pickaxe. How am I going to get that? Well, follow me this way. The pickaxe in that chest. All right, here we go. And whoa, is this a super space titanium pickaxe? I've heard about these things, but I didn't know they were actually real. Yes, but you better return that. Otherwise, I'll be very angry. Okay, I will. Also, the moon is very, very dangerous for warning travels like you. So take this sword. Wait, the moon is dangerous. Okay, well, I'm really good at fighting, so I think I'll be able to handle it. I'll be back in a few minutes. Leave my laboratory now. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so that scientist guy over there wanted me to get 10 moon amethyst ore and i think that should be easy right it should just be like normal mining and he also gave me this sword and he said it's gonna be dangerous out here so i gotta be careful hmm what does moon amethyst ore look like let me look around wait a minute there's some ore over here could this be it let me just try mining it and oh it is moon amethyst ore let's go man that was pretty easy to find and we only need to get 10 of them this should be no problem we're already halfway there oh wait i think there's some more over here let's go this mining trip is gonna be super easy. All right, we've got nine moon amethyst ore, but where should we find more? I think we just got lucky with that first two. And wait, is that a cave? Oh, this should be super good. We should get a lot of ore inside of the cave. Let's just go up this way and- What are you doing in here? Um, I'm just looking for some moon amethyst ore. And wait, there's some right behind you over there. Do you not see me mining this? Get out of my cave. Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Oh no, this guy looks super scary, but we've only got like a minute left. I have to get this moon amethyst ore. We're we're gonna have to pull out this sword that the scientist gave us. Come here! Wait, what are you doing? No! I need the moon amethyst ore. I'm sorry. Stay back! Stay back! Just a few more hits. Come on, come on. Let's go. We got him. And now let's just quickly go ahead and mine all of this moon amethyst ore. And let's quickly head back to the scientist guy. We need to give him to this quick. Mr. Scientist, I got the stuff. Can I enter? Hmm. Do you have the stuff? I have all of the stuff, plus a bit of extra stuff. Then I guess you can enter. All right. Well, here you go. 15 moon amethyst ore. Five more than we agreed on. Perfect. Thank you. And a deal's a deal. Here's your spawn egg. Let's go. Thank you so much. Well, I gotta quickly go back to this mob battle. My friend's waiting on me. I really don't care. Leave. Okay, okay. I'm out of here. See you. Oh my gosh. Let's go. That guy just gave me the balloon. And now let's just quickly head back over to the arena. Hopefully, Rainy didn't notice that I was missing. Rainy, Rainy, I'm back. What do you mean? your back dash i've been waiting for like 15 minutes uh i'm sorry i had to go to the uh to the washroom yeah the washroom okay well whatever oh no i didn't know that i was gonna be 15 minutes late well anyways let's quickly spawn in our balloon on this side over here there we go and now all we have to do is flick the lever and oh my gosh there's our mob this guy looks even cooler than i thought it would all right well we gotta quickly let him out because rainy's been waiting for a while and all right come on mr electric head you gotta get out of here we're about to fight all right Rainy. Rainy, are you ready to drop down the walls? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. And wait, Dash, what in the world is this thing? This is an electric head, and it is definitely going to win. Look at this guy. He looks so OP. Whoa, it looks so scary. Wait, Dash, where even were you for the last 15 minutes? I was calling your name for so long. Uh, it's a long story. Don't worry about it. And wait, Rainy, look. It looks like the mob battle has begun. They're fighting. No, no, this isn't good. Your guy looks so strong. Here we go. Oh, man, look at all the lightning strikes. There is no way we're losing this. Come on, Mr. Electric Head, you got this. Come on, my guy can definitely win. No. GG. That was too easy, Rainy. Man, that sucked. Your guy was too OP. Yep, it was a long journey to get him, but I'm glad we had him. Well, anyways, Rainy, that sets the score to 2-1. Let's move on to the next round. Dash, how are we even supposed to get home now that we're stuck out here? Oh, uh, we're actually not stuck here, Rainy. I've got this escape rocket that we can use. Oh, you're so smart, Dash. Good thinking. Yep, so 
So if I just place it down, we can just click on it and then hit the overworld. And we're back home. Aw, oh, man, I miss this place. Yeah, I do too, but the boat was pretty fun. Yep, so now that we're back here, let the next round begin. So now it's the next round, and of course, let's see what Rainy's gonna do first. Okay, I'll quickly run to this side and throw in some extra special golden bones. Wait, golden bones? What do those do? And on this side, I'll just throw in a couple skeletons. Wait, is he making a mutant skeleton or something? What could this possibly be? And now I'll flick this extra special lever. Oh man, my super skeleton spawned in. This is so cool. Wait, a super skeleton? And look, it's even flying. This guy looks so cool. All right, well, if Rainy's gonna play with super mobs, then we have to spawn in a super enderman because I think that actually is the perfect counter for these flying skeleton things. All righty, so over here in the left side, let's go ahead and spawn in just a normal enderman. And on the other side, let's just enter the room and we can drop in a bunch of steel sticks. There we go. And now we can just go ahead and flick the lever. And whoa, now we got this super cool looking super enderman. Yeah, there is no way we're losing against Rainy's little super skeleton. Let's quickly let him out. And this time, since we're not doing anything crazy on the moon, we can go and prank Rainy again. And now let's go and prank Rainy. And wait, what is this guy doing? Did he build a house on his side? Okay, we have to go mess with him. This is a perfect prank opportunity. Except instead of making ourselves invisible this time, let's pull out this personal shrinking device. And we can actually use it to make ourselves extremely tiny. And now if we go over to his side, he'll have no idea that we're here. And let's see what this guy's up to. Is he riding a motorcycle? This is so much fun. But man, I'm honestly getting a little hungry. So I think I'm gonna go inside and eat before I keep riding. Oh man, this guy always eating. He needs to go to the gym every now and then. Well, anyways, hmm. Now that he's in his house, what sort of prank could we pull on him? Wait a minute. I know. Since this house is almost all made out of wood, why don't we grab a fire dynamite and light it on fire? Because wood is extremely flammable. So let's just quickly grab this fire dynamite and let's just toss one over here at the top of his house. Wait, what in the world was that noise? Oh, wait, he almost noticed. All right, let's quickly throw one over here on the opposite side that he's on. There we go. What the heck was... Wait, no, my house is on fire. <laughs> Looks like he noticed. This is so funny. Oh, no, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, I didn't want to have to do this, but I guess I have to use this water dynamite. Come on. Wait, a water dynamite? I didn't know that was a thing, but I mean, it looks like he just flooded his whole house. Okay, and I'll break these last few blocks, and I think we're almost all good after this, and perfect. Now we're all good. Uh, well, I mean, his house isn't burning anymore, but, like, his whole house just got destroyed. Why would he do that? <sighs> that was really a close one. Well, now I guess I even have a bigger pool to swim in. Uh, well, I mean, I guess he is right about that. He does now have a bigger pool that he can swim in, and he's even got squid spawning inside of his pool. This is so funny, but I think I know what we can use to prank him. Let's quickly grab this gravity dynamite, and if we just go over here to Rainy and toss one at him, it'll be extremely funny, so just watch this. Here we go, and oh, wait, it worked on his squids. I think we missed him. Uh, let's just toss another one right over here, and wait, we missed again. Okay, let's just throw one last one before we go over to our side, so let's just toss it right over here, and wait, I think it worked. Wait, what in the world am I lagging? That was weird. Oh, no, I was about to go back over to our side, but we have to do this again. That was too funny. Just toss it over here, and oh, <laughs> Ow, 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 the water hurts. What in the <laughs> world just happened? That was so funny. Let's toss one last one over there. Oh my gosh, I think I'm lagging. I think I'm gonna re-log. <laughs> he just left the game. He's gonna re-log. Well, anyways, that gives us a perfect opportunity to go back over to our side without him noticing anything. Wait, Rainy, why'd you leave the game? Oh, I was just lagging a little bit. I had to reset it. Oh, okay, fair enough. All right, well, our army is looking pretty good. Let's ask Rainy if he's ready to drop the walls. All right, Rainy, are you ready to drop down the walls? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. And here we go. The mob battle has begun. Let's see who's gonna win. Whoa, it looks like your guy's getting absolutely destroyed. Uh, no, just what? Wait, did he just die that quick? Come on. Let's go. My guy's way too strong. I never knew that a bunch of bones was gonna be powerful. Okay, well, I guess you win that round, and that sets the score to 2-2, two, two, meaning whoever wins the next round wins it all. All right, it is the final round. Whoever wins this one wins the entire mob battle, so we cannot go easy on Rainy. So let's see what he's doing. All right, on this side, we're gonna throw in a bunch of computer chips just like that. Wait, computer chips? Wait, what could he be doing with that? And on the other side, we're going to spawn in this super cool robot. Wait, a robot and a computer chip? Hmm, what could this be? And now all I got to do is flick this lever. Whoa, look at this 
super cool guy. Wait, did he just make a super OP huge robot? What? Let's go. This is going to be such an easy round. I did not expect Rainy to spawn in a robot, but I mean, I guess it should be easy to counter. I think I know just the thing. Now, I know it may sound weird, but I'm pretty sure if we make some mob out of redstone, we can use it to short the robot. But hmm, what mob should we combine with a redstone block? Wait, what about a rattlesnake? These things are like super fast. It would be like the perfect mob. So let's just go over here in the right side and let's put down a few redstone blocks just like that. And over here on the left side, let's put down a rattlesnake. There we go. And now because we put a lot of redstone blocks down, I'm pretty sure we're going to get an absolutely ginormous snake. So let's flick the lever and see. And whoa, I can't believe it actually worked. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, this thing looks insane. There is no way we're losing. Since it's the last round and I know that we're going to win this, we don't even have to prank Rainy. Let's just drop down the walls. Rainy, are you ready to drop the walls? Oh, I'm so ready to win this mob battle. All right. Well, I'll be telling you one thing. You're not going to win. But before we drop the walls, can I take a few guesses on what your army is? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead and guess. All right. Is it made out of electronics? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. All right. All right. Does it have a big antenna sticking out of it? I would say this is pretty average, but yeah, it definitely does. And for my final guess, is it a robot? Robot? Wait, how did you even know that? Well, obviously it's making a lot of noise. And wait, did it just duplicate itself? Whoa, let's go. There's no way. How did you know it did that? Uh, well, you know, the sound that it made just got uh, louder. So I just guessed that, it, that there were more of them. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Well, anyways, it should be fine because my mob is super OP and I only need one of them to take out your army. We'll see about that. Well, anyways, Rainy, let's drop down the walls in three, two, one. Here we go. Wait, what in the world is that? Wait, my army lost. <laughs> that was too easy. I don't think your guys even got a single hit on my guy. What? How is that even possible? Well, my big redstone snake thingy is just super OP. And wait, are you trying to kill it? I bet I can kill it. Boom. Uh I bet I can kill you. Get out of here. Wait, what? Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But we can mix anything into a mob. For example, if I mix this iron golem with some TNT and flick this lever, we get a TNT golem. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. And of course, I'll be secretly cheating with this one-way glass wall to see exactly what mobs Rainy combines. All right, Rainy, are you ready for the first round of this combining mob battle? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, we've each got five minutes to mix our mobs. Good luck. All right, so it's the first round. And what Rainy doesn't know is that we're going to be cheating with this one-way glass. So let's see exactly what he's going to mix so that we can mix the perfect counter. And it looks like Rainy just spawned in a mutant zombie. Wait, I wonder what he could be doing with this. And wait, what is he doing over here on the other side? Let me see. I just want to run this redstone towards this door like that. And now I'm just going to jump inside. Wait, is he combining himself with the mutant zombie? Wait, what is this going to turn into? And whoa, wait, what in the world did Rainy spawn? Is this like a giant version of himself? Whoa, this thing looks so cool. There's no way Dash is going to win. Oh man, this thing does look pretty cool. And it's even got full netherite armor and a shield. Well, hmm, what if we just copy Rainy and do the exact same thing, except we can enchant our giant. So I'm pretty sure all Rainy did is just go over here and then spawn in a mutant zombie. Zombie. All right. And over here, I'm pretty sure so that we can actually reach the lever. Let's extend it with a little bit of redstone. There we go. Looking good. And now if we just flick this lever, it should combine us with the mutant zombie. And wait, did it work? The mutant zombie is gone. So wait, let's just go outside and wait, what? There it is. Oh man, it was so big that it didn't even spawn inside of the mob combiner. But man, this guy is looking so cool, but it is pretty much just identical to Rainy's mob. So let's go ahead and enchant it with protection for oh man this guy's looking so cool let's also go ahead and give him this enchantment called tough two and i'm pretty sure all this does is just make him a ton stronger well anyways we've still got a little bit of time left before the walls drop and this is a perfect opportunity to go and prank rainy so let's go over to his side and see what he's doing but of course we can't just go over to his side looking like this because then he's gonna know that we're cheating so using this size changing device we can actually use it to make ourselves extremely tiny now if we go onto his side, he'll have no idea that we're there. All right, and here we are, and wait, what is this guy doing? Oh, man, I'm really loving this new couch car. It's got it so fast. Wait, is he driving around a couch car in the middle of a mob battle? Wait, what in the world? Wait a minute, I know the perfect prank for this. There's this one item called the digging dynamite, and essentially what it does is just make a big hole wherever I throw it. So we can toss one over at Rainy's car, and then he'll fall into the void. So let's just go over here while he's not looking, and let's just toss a digging 
down in my... Oh, and wait, I think I missed. Hold on, this is kind of a small hole. Did I use the wrong dynamite? Wait, let's try that one more time. And wait, why is the hole so tiny? Okay, I think we're gonna have to step it up a notch to the tunneling dynamite. So let's just grab one of those. And I don't think Rainy even notices these holes. So let's just go over here and toss one. And look, it worked perfectly. Wait, what just happened? I fell through the floor. Uh, Dash? Uh, Rainy, what happened? Well, I was just riding around on my couch and I don't know where the ground just fell through. The ground fell through? Wait, how heavy was your couch? Maybe it broke through the floor. Maybe like 100 pounds. 100 pounds, that is so heavy heavy these roads can only handle like 10 pounds oh i guess that makes sense then oh my gosh i can't believe he fell for that well anyways let's quickly go back over to our side before we draw any more suspicion well anyways rainy are you ready to drop down the walls it looks like our guys are already fighting yes drop the walls here we go let's go come on come on wait why does your guy look so much like mine oh well <laughs> wait my guy just two-shotted yours and uh it doesn't look that similar to yours look it's my skin but they're the exact same armor and weapons and shield it doesn't make any sense uh, well, clearly my guy is just better. Look, he's enchanted. Oh, uh, whatever. But wait, why are you so small? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. I was just uh, testing out my new invention. I see. Okay, well, that's a little weird. Well, anyways, that puts the score to 1-0 for me. And whoever gets the three points first wins it all. Let's move on to the next round. All right, guys, it's the next round. But don't leave just yet, because I've still got some crazy mobs planned for the rest of this video. Okay, so it's the next round. And of course, let's see what Rainy's going to be doing first. Okay, let me throw this Titan skin down. Titan skin? What could that be? And on this side, I'll put an Enderman, just like that. Wait, Titan skin and an Enderman? Wait, what could he be possibly making with this? And whoa, wait, what in the world? Is this a double-headed Enderman? And wait, it was too big that it spawned on the roof of the mob combining machine. Oh man, this thing looks pretty scary. It's literally got two heads. Well, if Rainy's gonna spawn mobs with multiple heads, then I guess we have to counter that with even more heads. So let's just go over here in this side and let's just put down a bunch of zombie heads. And over here on the other side, we're gonna spawn in a bunch of red ants. Trust me, you'll see what they is gonna turn into in a second. And now now let's just go ahead and flick the lever and whoa look at that wait a minute this guy looks so cool he's got like five heads all right buddy let me quickly let this guy out of this cage there we go and man this guy looks so cool it's got like one two three four exactly five heads that's three more than rainy's bob there is definitely no way we are losing this round let me just grab my guy's spawn egg real quick and now i can spawn in a bunch of them wait did rainy just grab his mob spawn egg i didn't know you could do that well hmm i'm pretty Pretty sure if I just hit this button, then wait, we get the spawn egg of the mob. And now, of course, to counter Rainy's huge army of devil headed endermen, let's also go ahead and spawn in a bunch of our guys. Oh man, this is gonna be such an easy win for us. And wait, what is Rainy doing now? I saw Dash had some enchantments on his guy, so how about I throw some of those on too? Wait, is Rainy putting enchantments on his guy? Oh no, this is not good. Well, I guess if we still want to counter him, then we have to enchant our guys as well, but enchanting the mobs takes so long. But wait, I have an idea. What if we use this mob unenchantment book and then go over and unenchant all of Rainy's mobs? So let's just quickly grab a potion of invisibility so that he 100% can't see us. And let's head over onto his side. All right, so here we are and Rainy can't see us. And let's just quickly grab the mob unenchantment book. There we go. And let's just go over to some of his mobs and then just unenchant them. <laughs> all right, hopefully he doesn't see this. Let's just unenchant this guy as well. Perfect. And oh no, he's looking directly at this guy. Hopefully he's AFK or something. Let me just unenchant him and perfect. I don't think he even noticed. Wait, why did my guys just go unenchant it? I guess I'll just enchant them again. Oh no, it looks like he's going and enchanting them again. Well, let's just quickly unenchant this guy, but hmm, we can't have this. We need a way to make it so that he can't enchant his guys again. And luckily, I know just the tool for the job. Let's quickly grab this one item called the ray gun. And first, let's quickly go ahead and unenchant all of his mobs again. There we go. And now we can go far away and then shoot them all with a ray gun. Oh man. Man, this thing is so OP. Wait, what? Why did my army just start killing each other? A uh, dash? Uh, Rainy, what happened? I don't know. I didn't know where my army just turned on each other and everything blew up. Oh, well, that's pretty weird. Well, anyways, the walls are dropping in just a few seconds, so you better get ready. Oh, no, I gotta hurry. All right, Rainy, well, ready or not, I'm dropping down the walls in three, two, one, and here we go. All right, Rainy, it looks like the battle has begun, and my guys are absolutely gonna destroy yours. No way. I'm 
definitely gonna win this. And wait, did your guy just pick my guy up? What is going on? Wait, what? Some of my guys are dying. This is not good. Come on, come on. My guys got this. Wait, what? How are all my guys dying? You've only got one guy fighting as well. My guys are just too strong. Oh, imperfect. He just died. I'm telling you, my guys are simply just better. Here we go. Here we go. They're about to fight again. And wait, your guys keep picking my guys up. This is not fair. This is too easy of a win for me. Oh, no. I've only got two guys left. You guys can do this. And wait, no. One of them just died. I've only got one mob left. And no, wait. How did he die? Oh, I told you, Dax. That was going to be an easy win for me. Oh, man. I really thought I was going to win that. But I guess you win. And that puts the score to 1-1. One, one. So let's move on to the next round. All right. It's the next round. And of course, before we mix our mob, let's see what Rainy's going to be mixing first. Okay, let me close this door because it's going to get super deadly. I'm going to put down this killer bee. Wait, a killer bee? What can he be doing with this? And then on this side, we're just going to throw in two bee wings. Wait, a killer bee mixed with two extra bee wings? Wait, what could this possibly be? And whoa, wait, what in the world? Did it just spawn in a queen bee? Oh no, this guy looks so scary. Oh man, this guy looks so cool. Let me let him out of his cage. Oh no, this guy does look super scary. Just look at that big stinger. That probably does a lot of damage. Well, if we're going to want to counter this, then we're going to need a mob that can't get stung by bees. And hmm, what mob could we possibly do for that? <gasps> Wait, what about a robot? Robots are like completely made out of metal, so they're not going to be able to get stung by a bee. So over here, let's just go ahead and drop in a bunch of computer chips just like that. And on the other side, we're going to drop in a bunch of iron blocks. And now if we just go ahead and flick this lever, it should spawn in a robot. And whoa, look at that. This guy looks insane. Hold on. This guy is way too cool to be stuck in this cage. Get out of here. Honestly, I didn't even think that that was going to work, but this guy looks so much cooler than I thought he would. There is no way we're losing against Rainy's mob. And wait, it looks like Rainy's talking to his queen bee. What could he be doing now? Now let me just grab some of these spawn eggs and boom, Dash will never be ready for this. Wait, is he spawning more of his queen bees? Oh no, this is not good. Well, I guess if he's going to do that, then we have to spawn in more of our guys as well. Of course, let's go ahead and enchant a few of our mobs again just to make them even stronger. And perfect. Well, we've still got a few minutes before the walls drop again. So what if we go mess with Rainy again? Of course, let's quickly grab a potion of invisibility so that he isn't going to be able to see us. And let's head over onto his side. All right, here we are. And he has no idea that we're here. And wait, what is he doing? Oh, man, I'm really enjoying this awesome day ahead of the sun with my pool. But before I go ahead and do my dive, I kind of want to hop on my roller coaster. Wait, this guy built a roller coaster and a pool and a house in the middle of a mob battle? Oh, this roller coaster is so cool. I'm so glad I built it. Wait a minute. Well, I actually have a really funny prank idea for how we could mess with his roller coaster. There's actually this one item in this mod pack called the rail mine, and it kind of just looks like a normal rail, but it explodes. So let's just go over here and replace this thing with a rail mine, and now when Rainy goes over it, it'll explode. Wait, what just happened? All my stuff just blew up. A dash? Uh, Rainy, what happened this time? Well, I was just running on my roller coaster, and out of nowhere, it just blew up. The roller coaster blew up. Wait, how fast were you going? Not very fast, honestly. Uh, well, you must have been going too fast, because I've heard that when you go too fast on those things, they just explode. Oh, no. Yeah, you gotta be careful. These things are not very safe. Well, I guess I'll just relax in my pool instead. Well, my pool kind of did get messed up. I think it's still good enough to have a nice dive. Wait, Rainy's going for another jump in his pool. Hold on. This is a perfect opportunity to prank him. Using commands, let's quickly replace all of the water in his pool with some fake water. And I know it looks like nothing changed, but just wait till he jumps in. And now it's time to jump in. Let's go in. Wait, what? Why does the water hurt? What? What just happened? A dash? Rainy, what happened this time? Now my water's hurting me. Your water is hurting you? Wait, how close was the explosion to your water? Right on top of it, basically. Wait, Rainy, if the explosion happened right on top of the pool, then the explosive stuff probably fell into the water. That's probably why it hurts. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Well, I guess I'm just gonna hang out on my house until the walls drop. All right, so it seems like Rainy's just gonna be chilling in his house till the walls drop, but luckily I've got another prank idea. Let's quickly grab this one item called the physics TNT, and let's also grab a pressure plate. And we can just go over here right at his door, and let's just break this block, replace it with a physics TNT, and let's just put a pressure plate on top of it. This way, the next time he walks out of his house, it's gonna activate the physics TNT. All right, so let's go far away and see what happens. Well, actually, I do really need the workouts. I guess I can go back 
back to running outside. In the world is this thing? It doesn't look like normal TNT. Oh my gosh, that worked so perfectly. Wait, what in the world was that? It just blew up my whole house. Oh my gosh, this is too funny. Well, anyways, let's quickly go back over to our side before we draw any more suspicion. And this time, let's quickly drink a bucket of milk before the round starts so that Rainy isn't gonna know that we're invisible. Perfect. Well, anyways, Rainy, are you ready to drop down the walls? Oh, I'm so ready. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. What in the world are those things, Dash? These are robots. And you know, I kind of had a feeling that you spawned in bees, so I figured robots would be the perfect counter since they can't get stung. Wait, what type of feeling is that? How would you even know that? Oh, well, they're just super loud, of course. I can hear them through the walls, and it looks like my guys are doing a lot of damage. Oh, no, this isn't good. Oh, no, your bees are actually doing quite a bit of damage. I thought my guys were going to be invincible to your bees, you know, since they're made out of metal. Come on, my bees can definitely win this. Let's go. Well, your guys are doing a little bit of damage, but in the end, we're still definitely going to win because there's just no way bees are going to beat robots. No way we got this. Come on, come on. Why isn't this guy fighting? Just beat him up. Oh, Rennie, it looks like this one bee over here is getting super low. They're only at 17 health. Oh, no, this isn't good. Come on, come on. Your little killer bee things are so annoying. Oh, wait, Rennie, it looks like this bee over here is getting super low any second now and they should die. Oh, come on. We can win this. Man, my robot is taking a lot of damage. I'm so surprised he hasn't died yet. I guess he's just the better mob. And wait, Rainy, it looks like one of your bees just died. Oh no, this isn't good. Here we go. Only one bee left and it just died. GG's. Oh man, GG. Well, anyways, Rainy, that puts the score to 2-1. So let's move on to the next round. But Dash, for this round, do you want to go to Mars? Mars? Wait, how are we going to do that? Oh, don't worry. I got it. Okay. Let me just make the launch pass just like this and perfect. Whoa, these rockets look so cool. All right, Dash, we can launch the rockets in three two one whoa this thing is so cool oh here we go here we go we're about to take off and whoa whoa this is so cool are we really going to mars yep we are and whoa wait here we are this place is so cool but we don't have an arena to do the mob battle how are we gonna do that oh don't worry i can do that too whoa rainy you really are a fast builder that was like instant yeah i told you i was well anyways let's begin the next round all right guys so it's the next round and since since Rainy rebuilt the platform, we don't have our one-way glass anymore. But guys, don't worry. I actually still have a one-way glass converter in my ender chest from last video. So let's just go over here and right-click. And there we go. Now it's all made out of one-way glass. Let's quickly go ahead and put this one-way glass converter back in our ender chest. And let's see what Rainy's going to be doing. Let's see. On this side, I kind of want to throw in some alien hearts just like that. Alien hearts? Wait, is he going to craft an alien? And on this this side, we're going to put in the summoner for aliens. Wait, an alien summoner and alien hearts? Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. Whoa, wait, is that an alien? Well, I mean, I kind of had a feeling that this was going to be it, but whoa, look at this thing. This guy looks so scary. Oh man, my guy looks so cool. There's no way I'm losing this round. Well, aliens are like the most powerful mob on Mars, but wait, I have a really good idea, but it involves sneaking over to Rainy's side, so let's just quickly get some invisibility and let's head over. So here Here's the plan. What if we go over here and steal the alien spawn egg and then try to combine an alien with another alien? So let's just go over here and hopefully Rainy doesn't notice the door opening. And there we go. We got the spawn egg. All right. So now let's just go back over to our side. I don't think Rainy even noticed. And now that we're back over on our side, let's spawn in one of Rainy's mobs over here. And let's also spawn in another one over here. Man, I really hope this works. Let's see what it's going to turn into. And wait, what just happened? Did the mob combining machine? just blow up? Oh no, guys. I don't think we were supposed to be able to combine two of the same mobs. That's probably why the thing got destroyed. Oh no, this is not good. We have to repair this quick before the round starts because I don't want Rainy to know that we tried to steal his mobs, but I have no idea how to fix these combining machines. What should we do? Well, hmm. I actually do have this one friend who lives on Mars. Maybe he'll be able to help us fix the machine, except his house is like 200 blocks away. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it in time before the walls drop, but we don't really have any other choice. Let's quickly escape the platform. Hopefully Rainy doesn't notice and alright, here we are. Since we're gonna be going out into open space, let's quickly put on this space helmet so that we can breathe better. And now let's go look for my friend Bob's house. He should be somewhere near here. It's only like 200 blocks away. Oh no, we're getting pretty far. I can't even see the mob battle arena anymore. Hopefully we're close. Alright, we only have a few minutes left till the walls drop so hopefully I can make it back to the arena in time. Come on, Bob's house has to be somewhere near here. Uh, wait, 
Is that Bob's house? Wait a minute, this has to be his house. This is like the only house that I've seen so far on Mars. It's a pretty nice looking house. And wait, is this Bob's car? Oh man, it's really nice. Let's go over here to the entrance and hopefully he'll be able to help us out. Knock, knock. Oh, uh, who is it? It's me, Dash. Do you remember me? Dash, yes, I do remember you. Sorry, I broke my back. I'm a little bit slow. Oh, no worries, no worries. Well, anyways, I have a question for you. What can I do? Well, I'm currently doing a combining mob battle with my friend, but my mob combining machine broke. Your mob combining machine broke. Hmm, I think that's something I could whip up. Oh, that would be amazing. When do you think you could have it done by? Uh, I think I can get it whipped up in like five minutes. Five minutes? Uh, well, the walls are gonna drop by then, but I guess I don't have any other choice. Man, I'll go ahead and make this for you if you can get me one item. Wait, you need one item? What do you need? I just need one Mars diamond ore. That's all I need. One Mars diamond ore. Okay, I think I can do that, but I don't have a pickaxe. I guess you could take this pickaxe right here and also take this sword because it's gonna be very dangerous uh, it's gonna be dangerous okay well i'm really good at fighting so i'll probably be fine probably so but if you want to get around fast you can take my car it's just right out there oh wait i can take your car wonderful well i'll go do that now i'll be back in no time oh man bob is so nice he said that he'll craft us the repair thing for the mob combiner if we can just get him one space diamond ore and he also said we can take his car so let's just hop in here and i don't really know how to drive this so hopefully it's fine and whoa this thing is pretty fast and and, hmm, Bob just wanted one Mars diamond ore. That should be pretty easy to get, right? All right, there's gotta be some Mars diamond ore just somewhere around here. I'm sure it's not that rare of an ore. And Wait, is that it? Wait a minute, I think this is Mars diamond ore right here. Let's go. And let's just go ahead and mine all of this. And whoa, this pickaxe Bob gave me is so OP. It mines it like instantly. And wait, it looks like there's another Mars diamond ore. Oh man, Bob is gonna be so happy. He's gonna get two instead of one. And wait, there's another one? Wait. Wait, how many Mars diamond ores are there? There's so many of them. This is so epic. Wait, what? Who are you? Ah, you fall out of my trap. Give me everything you have or else I'll kill you. Wait, are you trying to rob me? Oh, no. Well, Bob said it was going to be dangerous. Good thing he gave me this sword. Come here. Wait, what is that? You're going to die. Get out of here and let's go. Phew, that was a close one. Good thing Bob gave me this sword. Let's quickly mine out of this hole. And since we already have more than enough Mars diamond ore, let's just head back to Bob. All right, here we are. Let's just quickly park and we can go inside. Side. Bob, Bob, it's me. Can I open the door? Yes, Dash, you can come in. All right, wonderful. I got the stuff. Oh, perfect. I just finished up your contraption. Oh, perfect. Well, I actually got nine Mars Diamond or a few more than you asked for. All right, Dash, here is your Bob Combiner Repair Kit and all you have to do is place it down. Wait, so I just place it down and it instantly repairs it? Yep, that's right. All right, thank you very much. I'm gonna head back to the mob battle now because I'm gonna be late. See you. Good luck. And whoa, guys, we got the Mob Combiner Repair Kit. Hopefully this fixes it. All right, guys we're finally back at the platform and hopefully rainy didn't notice that i was gone for too long and wait rainy just got the advancement hot stuff wait what does that mean wait a minute what is rainy doing is he sitting on a chair and wait are those kitchen sinks around him uh well i'm not gonna question it anyways let's quickly place down our mob combiner repair kit i'm pretty sure we just have to place it in the middle over here and whoa guys look it actually worked oh man i'm so thankful to have this thing back well anyways if we can't combine rainy's mob with another one of Rainy's mobs to get like some sort of super alien, then I guess we have to make an alien of our own. And I know exactly what we're gonna make. So let's just go over here and drop down an alien heart. There we go. And over here on the other side, let's drop down a ray gun. Oh man, this alien is gonna be so cool. So let's just flick the lever. And whoa, there we go. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh, our alien looks so much cooler than Rainy's. Just look at him. He's even got a jetpack and a space ray gun. Let's quickly let this guy out of the cage because we are definitely winning this round. And of course, let's go ahead and grab his spawn egg and just spawn in a bunch more so that we 100% win. All right, Rainy, are you ready to drop down the walls? Wait, Dash, is that you? You've been gone for like the past hour. Where have you been? Uh, it's a long story, but I'm back now. And shall we begin the battle? Oh, uh, whatever. Just drop the walls. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Wait, what are these things? They look so weak. These are my space aliens. And look, they have ray guns and jetpacks. And what do you mean they're weak? Look at them. They're about to destroy your army. Yeah, there's no way you're winning this one. Nice try, though, Dash. No, just watch. We are definitely winning. Just look how OP they are. They don't really look OP, Dash. They're all losing. Uh, no. Look, I've still got, like, all of my army. Wait, I only have four guys left. What? This is not good. Yeah, this is an easy win for me. Good try, though. Oh, no. I didn't know your guys could shoot stuff as well. Wait, what? One of my guys just got, like, one-shotted. What? How's my guy over here doing it? Wait, did he just die? Oh, no. I've only got two guys left. 
And wait, only one now? This is a GG. No, come on. Just pull out your special ability. You got this. And no GGs, I guess. Too easy. Well, that puts the score to 2-2, two, two, meaning whoever wins the next round wins it all. And for this next round, do you want to go back to Earth? I kind of missed that place. Oh, uh, yeah, we should definitely do that. Whoa, here we go. And we have takeoff. Let's go. Oh, man, I'm glad to be back on Earth. I miss this place. Well, anyways, let's see what Rainy's going to be spawning. Let's see if I run over here. I should be able to throw in this red die and perfect. Red die? What could that possibly be for? And on this side, I'll throw in this strapping box and now he should pop right out. Wait, a box? Wait, I've noticed that all of his things are red. Oh, no, what is this possibly going to be? Whoa, wait, what in the world? Is this like some giant red scorpion looking thing? Oh, no. Oh, no, this thing looks super scary. And I think there's only one type of mob that we can use to counter it. We're going to have to use void mobs. So let's go over here in this area and we're going to drop in a void eye of ender. There we go. And on the other side, we're going to drop a totem of the void. These items are insanely powerful, so we should get a super OP mob. And now let's just flick the lever and whoa, there it is. Oh my gosh, it's the void master. This thing looks insane. It's so big that it took out the mob combining machine. Well, yeah, I think I can 100% say that there is no way we are losing to Rainy's mob. And speaking about Rainy, let's mess with him a bit. Hey, Rainy. Hey, Dash. Can I take a few guesses on what you may have spawned? Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. All right. Is it kind of looking like a scorpion? Sure, I guess. A little bit. All right. Is it red? Yeah, it has some red in it. All right. And for my final guess, is it a big red scorpion looking thing? Yeah, she kind of just said the same thing. Uh, yeah, you're right. But my guess was right either way. I'm always right. Uh, I didn't even tell you it was right or not, but, uh, okay. Sure, Dash. Uh, I just know it's right. Well, anyways, Rainy, are you ready to drop down the walls? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Oh my God. What is that thing, Dash? This is the Void Master, and there's no way your little scorpion thing is winning against him. Whoa, here we go. Looks like the battle has begun, and wait, it looks like your guy's damaging my guy, but that tables are gonna change very soon. Let's go. This is looking like a win for me. Oh no, wait, why is my guy actually taking so much damage? You guy might look big and scary, but he's so weak. Well, Rainy, I'm actually pretty sure that he has a special attack that activates when he reaches half health. No way. Oh, here we go. His attack is about to happen. Let's do this. And wait, let's go. He did it last second. Wait, what was that? That was like a big lightning strike. He just insta-killed him. GG's. Oh, I was so close, but GG. Yep, that was such a close round. He's at like half a heart. Well, anyways, that puts the final score to 3-2 for me, meaning I win the mob battle. Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend, but we can spawn horror mob. For example, if I spawn in this villager and splash it with my horror potion, it'll turn into this super scary clown mob. Oh my gosh, this guy is so creepy. Anyways, Rainy, are you ready to start this horror mob battle? I'm ready, Dash, and you're going down. All right, we'll see about that. Let's begin. All right, guys, so what Rainy doesn't know is that before we started, I secretly set up this one-way glass wall so that I can see exactly what mobs he spawns and spawn in the perfect counter. So for this first round, let's go ahead and see what he's gonna be spawning. All right, and it seems like he spawned in a villager and, hmm, I don't know what this is even gonna turn into when he splashes it, but I guess we're about to find out. And here we go! And whoa, wait, guys, is that a horror clown thing? Oh my gosh, this thing looks super scary. I did not expect a villager to turn into such a scary mob. I guess Rainy did a good job choosing a villager for his first mob. Well, guys, Rainy's mob over there looks extremely creepy, so we're gonna need something extremely scary to take it out. And wait, what is this forest doing here? Why are there trees? And wait, is this some sort of path? Um, hmm, I don't really know what what this is, but I guess we'll follow it. Um, this is kind of creepy. I don't know where this leads to. And wait, what is that over there? Is that a portal? Wait, what? Wait, guys, how is this even possible? There's nothing behind it. And then oh, when you go over here, there's like a room. What? Well, I guess let's go through it. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. And wait, guys, look, there's a chest. And wait, there's a sign here as well. And wait, what does this say? Spawn in this scorpion mob? I'm guessing there's a spawn egg in this chest. And oh yeah, there is a black scorpion. 
Uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna be as scary as Rainy's mob, but I guess let's try it. Let's quickly get out of the portal and uh, let's go over here in front of the wall so that we can spawn it in. I really hope this mob is gonna be scarier than Rainy's mob. So let's go ahead and spawn it in. And uh, this guy doesn't really look that scary. I mean, he looks kind of scary, but I think Rainy's mob is even scarier. But wait, guys, I forgot. We have to splash it with our horror potion. So let's just go over here and splash it with the potion and let's see what it turns into. And oh my gosh, guys, look at it now. This scorpion looks so much scarier than the one before. And wait, guys, it even made it nighttime. What? That just goes to show how scary this thing is. And wait, what are these? Is it leaving trails of, wait, flesh blocks? Uh, that's pretty creepy. Well, yeah, guys, I think we are definitely gonna be winning this mob battle. And wait, what is Rainy doing with his mob over here? Let's check it out. All right, Mr. Clown, you are a little bit small, so I kind of want to spawn in a bunch more of you. So let me grab your spawn egg. Ah, oh, thank you so much. And now I can spawn in all your brothers. Let's go. Wait a minute. Did Rainy just multiply all of his mobs by getting the spawn egg and spawning in more? Oh no. Well, if he's gonna do that, then I'm not sure if our one big scorpion thing over here is gonna be able to take them all out. And wait, is he also using a size changing device to make them huge? Okay, we are definitely gonna need to upgrade this guy. Well, for starters, let's go over here and grab our guy spawn egg. And of course, let's go ahead and spawn in a bunch more of him. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so insane. And since Rainy made one of his guys absolutely ginormous, let's also do the same and grab this size changing device. And we can go ahead and set the scale to absolutely massive. And whenever we go ahead and click on one of our mobs, it'll turn huge. Oh my gosh, just look at this thing. Yeah, guys, I don't think there is any shot we are losing this mob battle. Just look at this guy's face. He looks so insane. Oh man, his legs are even sticking through the wall. Hopefully Rainy doesn't notice them. Wait, what in the world? What is this thing? Uh, Dash? Uh, Rainy, what's up? Your mob's kind of sticking through the wall. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's pretty big, you know? Some of his legs might be sticking through the wall. It's no problem, though. You don't have to worry about anything. My goodness, this guy has some girth. Well, anyways, Rainy, are you ready to drop down the walls? I'm so ready to drop the walls. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Oh, my gosh. He is huge. And why is his head just floating, Dash? Uh, don't worry about about it. He, uh, he doesn't really need a deck, but just look at my guy. He is so huge, and he is absolutely gonna destroy your army. Wait, no, he just killed my big cloud. No, not Frederick. Let's go. And wait, it looks like my guys are spawning in little minions of themselves. This is so OP. Wait, that's not fair, Dash. This is a one-on-one -on -one mob battle. What is this? And wait, Rainy, you only have, like, a few guys left. This is gonna be such an easy round for me. Oh, this sucks. Hey, but wait, Dash, why is there a whole forest back here? What happened? And why is there a poor and wait, what in the world is that? Uh, wait, Rainy, why don't you go ahead and go through it? Uh, I'm kind of scared, but okay. Wait, what? Where am I at? Hey, guys, let's quickly cover up the portal so we can't get out. And perfect. <laughs> wait, I'm stuck inside of here. I'm super claustrophobic. Get me out. Okay, I'll let you out, Rainy. <laughs> you just got pranked. Oh, you're lucky. I was about to blow up this whole place to get out. Well, anyways, Rainy, I think all of your guys just died. So I guess that's a GG's for me. Oh, man. Let's move on to the next round. All right, guys. Well, that first round went super well. We absolutely destroyed Rainy. Luckily, this forest came in clutch and helped us choose the correct mob. Well, anyways, now that it's the next round, let's see what mob Rainy's gonna spawn. And wait, did Rainy just spawn in some sort of weird Steve-looking thing? What in the world is this? Yeah, this guy does not really look scary at all. Uh, I'm curious to see what it'll turn into when Rainy splashes it. And here we go! And wait, guys, did it just turn into Hero Brian? Oh no, guys, this is not good. This thing looks extremely old. OP. Well, guys, Herobrine is like one of the most OP mobs in the entire game, so we're gonna need something extremely creepy and powerful to counter it. Hmm, maybe if we go through the forest again, there will be another sign and a chest that tells us what we need to spawn, so let's go check it out. All right, here is the portal, and wait, guys, I think the portal got destroyed. Oh no, this is not good. How are we gonna know what mob to spawn in now? Well, wait, I actually think I might know what we can use to counter Herobrine. So there is this one mob called the Mogler, and it's kind of just like some OP lava mob. Let me just spawn one in and show you guys. And there it is. Look at this thing. I mean, this guy already looks pretty creepy as is. Look at him. He's like shaking and he's got three eyes. But now let's see what he's gonna turn into when we splash it with the horror potion. And 
Oh my gosh, what in the world? He just became so massive. What the heck? This guy is taller than all of the trees in the forest. This guy is insane. And wait, I think he might even be taller than the glass wall. And oh my gosh, wait, he's sticking his head through the wall. What in the world is this thing? Dad! Uh, Rainy, what's up? Get your stupid mob from coming on my side. He's breaking through the wall. Uh, oh, I'm sorry about that. He was just uh curious. He wanted to see what was popping on your side. Well, I don't care. The next time he's too curious, I'm gonna beat him up. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. He's literally on Rainy's side. And wait, what in the world is Rainy doing? Is he building some sort of shrine for his hero, Brian? Uh, this is kind of weird. And it looks like he used the size changing device again to make his hero, Brian, absolutely huge. Well, guys, we still do have a few minutes before the walls drop, and this seems like a perfect opportunity to go and prank Rainy. Except, hmm, what type of prank should we pull on Rainy this time? Wait, I know. We can build a portal over here that connects to Rainy's side, and then we can drop TNT through our portal that'll land on Rainy's hero brand shrine. So using these portal blocks, let's just go ahead and make a little portal just like this, and now we can go ahead and light it. And oh my gosh, look guys, now we have a portal that goes over to Rainy's side, and I'm pretty sure the portal over here is invisible, so Rainy can't even tell that we're spying on him. Well, anyways, now that we've got a direct portal over to Rainy's hero brand shrine, what should we do? So for starters, let's just go ahead and grab a normal TNT and let's build a little mount over here so that we can light it and then drop it right before it's gonna blow up. And let's put down our TNT, light it, and release. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, we just blew up Rainy's shrine. Wait, what in the world? No, someone broke the shrine. This means Lord Herobrine's gonna escape. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Well, that normal TNT did a little bit of damage to his shrine, so uh, I think we're gonna have to step it up a notch because we're gonna need to blow up this shrine entirely because I'm pretty sure it's making Herobrine more powerful by the second. And hmm, which TNT should we use? Because there's a lot of TNTs in this mod pack. Well, why don't we go ahead and test out the spear TNT and then after we can do a bunch of the other ones. So let's just go ahead and put one over here and let's light it and release. Let's see what it does. And oh my gosh, guys, it just blew up his shrine completely. What in the world? Why does my shrine keep blowing up? I'm so sorry. Sad. Oh no, guys, I think we made Rainy super sad. Well, now I'm starting to feel bad. Hmm, well, I do actually know a way that we can make him feel better. There's this one TNT in the game called the Brick House TNT. And basically, whenever it blows up, it just spawns in a huge brick house. So why don't we light one of these off and give Rainy a free brick house? So let's just light it and release. Here we go, here we go. And there it is. This house looks pretty cool. And oh, I think we released it a little bit too late because it's kind of floating in the air. Wait, what in the world was that noise? Is this the house? Why is there a house on my side? Well, I guess this is pretty cool. Let me just build a staircase up to it. And it looks like we made Rainy happy again. This is so epic. Well, anyways, I think we are definitely still gonna win the mob battle because just look at this guy. He is absolutely ginormous compared to Rainy's little hero, Brian. And it looks like Rainy's making good use of his house. I'm glad to see that. Well, anyways, Rainy, are you ready to drop down the walls? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's see this. Oh my God. Gosh, Dash, your guy is huge. Yep, my guy is absolutely massive. There is no way we are losing to your little hero brand guy over here. Oh, this isn't good. Come on, come on. Here we go. My guy is about to notice your guy, and then it's going to be over. Oh, and it looks like they're about to fight, and it looks like your guy is taking a lot of damage. And wait, it seems like he's hitting my mob. What? And wait, Rainy, I think your hero brand is riding my mob. What is going on here? Wait, what is he doing? What? Oh, man, this is so perfect. He isn't even fighting him, but he's still taking a bunch of damage damage. Your guy is definitely getting low. There is no way he's winning this. Oh no, this isn't good. And Rainy, I think your guy just died. GG's. Oh man, that sucks. That round was too easy. And wait, is there another portal on your side, Dash? What in the world does this one do? Oh, uh, don't worry about this. It's just, uh, I, I don't wait, know. It, it just uh, randomly popped up. Wait, why can I see myself, Dash? Why can I see myself? That's scary. What? Uh, Rainy, this is just a mirror. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh no, that portal's scary. I'm going back. 
into my house. Phew, good thing Rainy got scared and ran off. He didn't find out what this was. Well, anyways, let's move on to the next round. All right, guys. Well, that last round went super well. That portal came in clutch. We absolutely destroyed Rainy's mob. Well, anyways, now that it's the next round, of course, using our one-way glass, let's see what Rainy's up to. All right, well, Dash is using a lot of portals, so I want to make this super cool portal and go to the horror dimension so I can get horror mobs and completely destroy Dash. Wait, he's building a portal that goes to the horror dimension and he's gonna get absolutely scary horror mobs? Oh no. Well, let's see what this portal turns into. And whoa, guys, wait, I can't believe that actually worked. And whoa, what is that dimension? It must actually be the horror dimension. Oh man, this portal looks super scary. We definitely have to go in and check it out. And it looks like Rainy's about to go in and whoa, that looks super scary. Well, we definitely have to follow Rainy to see what he's up to. So let's quickly grab a potion of invisibility and let's head over onto his side. All right, so now we're on Rainy's side and let's just quickly go over here through his portal before he gets away. And let's just go through and whoa, here we are. And where did the portal go? Uh, guys, uh, this is not good. I don't think there's any return portal. Oh no, I guess let's quickly follow Rainy. Maybe he knows where to go. Oh no, Rainy is super far away. Hopefully I don't lose him. We've been running for so long. I'm kind of getting tired and wait, it's that a house? Um, wait, what is Rainy doing? Is he about to go inside? All right, here we are. Hopefully Rainy can't see us because we are invisible after all. Bob, your door is open. Oh, silly me. Uh, Rainy, you can definitely come inside. Come on. Wait, is he talking to Bob? Wait, what could he be doing with Bob? I haven't seen you in so long, Bob, but I really need your help right now. How can I help you out, Rainy? Well, my friend is kind of cheating in this Bob battle right now. I need an extra scary mob from the horror dimension in order to beat him. Well, I can definitely get you a super scary mob. Oh, thank you so much, Bob. Let me just whip it up and here you go oh perfect thank you so much bob i always appreciate you whoa wait guys bob just gave rainy a cool mob spawn egg i wonder what mob that could be well i guess let's follow rainy to find out oh man there's no way dash is gonna beat me now and since there's really no return portal bat i guess i can use my super cool rocket to get back wait he's using a rocket to get back because there's no return portal oh no and this should only take about five minutes so i'm hoping dash doesn't realize i'm gone oh no guys this isn't good how am i I gonna get back home i don't have a rocket well i do still have a few of these portal blocks from last round so maybe i can try building a portal that'll take us back to the arena let's quickly go over here where rainy won't be able to see us and let's quickly build a portal all right here we go i really hope this works and now let's just go ahead and light it and come on did it work and whoa guys look i think it worked this is going back over to our side look i can see the one-way glass and everything and wait what was that noise oh wait rainy's rocket is taking off hopefully he doesn't see see us and okay he's far away enough i think we're good well let's quickly go over here through our portal and perfect we are back home oh man that portal was so epic we made it home before rainy and hmm rainy did say that his rocket was gonna take like five minutes so why don't we go over to his side and prank him while he's gone all right so here we are and we don't even have to be invisible because rainy's on a rocket and hmm we've got a lot of time what type of prank should we do wait a minute i know what if we go over here underneath this platform and put a bunch of TNT down and then connect it to a lever on our side that'll let us activate it when the walls drop. Oh man, this is gonna be so funny. So first, of course, let's go ahead and clear out a ginormous area that we can put our TNT in. There we go. Now that we've got a big hole, we can start laying down the TNT. Well, since we want this explosion to be absolutely ginormous, let's use some TNT times five. And let's also go ahead and scatter in some TNT times 20s in there as well. Oh man, this is gonna be such a fun Funny prank. Rainy's gonna have no idea what's happening. Let's also go ahead and put in a few TNT times 20s here. And we're only gonna put a few because TNT times 20 is extremely powerful. And now let's go ahead and using a lever, connect some redstone from our side all the way to the TNT so that we can activate it from our side. Here we go. And perfect. And now we can go ahead and just cover everything up. And just like that, our trap is complete. And the best part is you can't even tell that it's a trap. Well, anyways, let's quickly run back over to our side because Rainy is probably going to be landing any second now. And whoa, guys, it looks like Rainy just landed. That was perfect timing. Well, anyways, now that he's back, we can see what type of mob Bob gave him. And whoa, wait, is that the mob? This thing looks insane. And wait, did Rainy just make him huge as well? Oh, no. And whoa, guys, look at his face. It's like a 
a warden head. Oh no, this must mean he has warden powers. This guy is probably gonna be super powerful. And wait, is Rainy spawning in even more of them? Oh no, this is not good, guys. Well, I don't think our TNT is gonna be enough to kill all of Rainy's mobs, so we're gonna have to spawn in a mob of our own. And I think I know exactly what type of mob we should use to counter this. So everyone knows the mob pillager. It's, you know, it's like a villager, but it has a crossbow. But what will happen if we splash it with our horror potion? Let's find out. So let's just splash it a few times and... Oh my gosh, wait, what is this? Is this what a horror pillager looks like? And wait, what? I think the pillager's crossbow got upgraded into these two ray guns. Oh man, this guy looks insane. We have to test out some of his attacks against the zombies. So let's just go ahead and spawn one down and see what he does. And oh my gosh, wait, what? His ray guns are so OP. It just like two-shotted him. Well, yeah, guys, I think we are definitely winning this round again. And we've also got the TNT, so, you know, 100% winning. Well, hmm, it seems like Rainy is spawning in quite a few of his guys, and I'm not sure if this one guy is gonna be enough to take them out. So I guess let's go ahead and grab his spawn egg and spawn in a bunch more. And there we go. Oh my gosh, we've got so many of these guys now. We are definitely not losing this round. Well, anyways, Rainy, are you ready to drop down the walls? Yep, I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's see this. And guys, let's quickly go over here and activate our TNT and let's see what happens. Whoa, what are these things, Sass? These are so scary. Uh, Rainy, don't worry about it. I think you have a bigger problem on your hands. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, why don't you look at your mobs? Wait, what did everything just blow up? What just happened? Oh my gosh, this is going so perfectly. Rainy, I may have set up a TNT trap on your side. What? That's so not fair. And wait, Rainy, I think it just killed all of your mobs back here. That was so insane. Oh no. And it looks like you've only got one guy left and i've still got like 60 and here we go rainy they're about to start fighting come on come on come on my guy can definitely win you know what rainy just to make it fair i'm gonna get rid of a few of my guys to make it so that it's just a 1v1 let's go i'm just gonna do this to show how op my guys are and now that there's only two guys left let's see who wins here we go rainy they're fighting let's see who wins this come on my guy can definitely win this he's super strong there is no way just look at my guy look how much damage he's doing and ggs uh gg Let's move on to the next round. Well, Dash, if you're building those stupid TNT traps, I'm gonna build my own. You're gonna build a TNT trap this round? Well, I bet it's not gonna be nearly as good as mine. Anyways, let's begin. All right, guys, so it's the next round, and Rainy said that he's gonna build some sort of TNT trap on his side as well, but first, let's see what mob he's gonna be spawning. And wait, did he just spawn in a magma cube? Wait, that thing is so small. What is this gonna turn into? Well, I guess we're about to find out. And oh my gosh, wait, what in the world is this? This thing looks pretty insane. I did not expect a magma cube to turn into this. This guy looks so powerful. It's like some weird moving block sort of thing. Uh, it does look pretty scary though, so we're gonna need a cool counter. Well, if Rainy wants to play with cube mobs, then why don't we go ahead and spawn in a slime? Because slimes are pretty much also just big cubes. And there we go. Look at this guy. I don't really have any idea what this is gonna turn into, but let's go ahead and splash it and find out. And oh my gosh, wait guys, what? What in the world is this? It's like some sort of slime insect. What? This thing looks absolutely insane. Look, it's got this ginormous slime cube over here and just look at his face. This guy looks so creepy. There is no way we're losing. I'm kind of curious what this guy's attacks are. So let's go ahead and spawn in another zombie and see what type of damage it does. And here we go. They're about to start fighting. And wait, is he shooting slime balls? What? This guy is so cool. And look, it just like two shot in the zombie. That is so epic. Well, yeah, guys, there's there's no question about it. We are definitely winning this round. And anyways, what is Rainy doing over here? All right, let's just finish doing our TNT cannon, something like this. And of course, we have to add in the TNT. Wait, is Rainy building a TNT cannon to try to take out our army? Oh no. Well, TNT cannons are actually pretty OP, so we have to stop this. Let's quickly grab a potion of invisibility and let's head over onto his side. All right, guys, here we are. And let's see how his TNT TNT cannon works. All right. It looks like a pretty simple TNT cannon, but I'm pretty sure if we just get rid of the water, the entire thing will explode. So let's just quickly grab a bucket and right when Rainy's about to test it, we can pull the water. All right. Let's go ahead and test this by hitting this button and boom. Let's quickly take the water and guys, let's see what happens. And it just all exploded. <laughs> what in the world? Where did my water just go? Oh, I spent so much time on that cannon. Now it's all destroyed. I guess I'll just get some more materials to build a new one for my house. 
house. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. And wait, did he say he's getting materials from his house to build another one? Okay, guys, while he's in his chest, we have to pull some sort of crazy prank on him. And wait, guys, I have a perfect idea. So you know how we've been building a lot of portals this mob battle? Well, why don't we build a portal at Rainy's door that takes him to the void? So that when Rainy goes out of his house and through the door, he'll fall straight into the void. So let's just go ahead and grab some portal blocks and place them over here just like that. And let's also light our portal. And there we go. And oh my gosh, look guys, now we have a portal that goes directly into the void. Let's go over here through one of Rainy's windows and see what it looks like from the inside. And oh my gosh, guys, this is so perfect. It just looks normal from the inside. But once you actually go through, it's too late. Well, anyways, I guess now we just have to wait for Rainy to finish getting his materials. And wait, guys, it looks like he just finished with his chest. Now he's about to go through the door. Let's see this. Perfect. We got all of our materials. Let's just go in. What in the world is happening? Why am I falling? Wait, what is this portal in front of my house? What is this thing? Oh my gosh, this is so funny. It looks like he found the portal. Let's quickly go back over to our side before he thinks that it's us. Well, anyways, Rainy, are you ready to drop down the walls? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's see this. What in the world is this thing, Dash? Rainy, this is my slime monster. Just look at him. He looks so OP. Ew, this is so gross. Well, it's definitely gonna be your OP magma cube thing. We'll see about that. Wait, how did you know it was a magma cube? Oh, well, uh, I kind of just had the feeling. I just had a feeling. Um, okay, I guess. Well, anyways, Rainy, it looks like they're about to start fighting this. It's about to be insane. Oh, no. Come on. My guy has to win this. Uh, wait. I think my guy is fighting some sort of fly thing over here. Wait, my guy isn't too smart. What is he doing here? He's probably super scared of my guy because he's super strong. Uh, actually, I think he's just warming up. And wait, Rainy, it looks like your guy is coming towards my mob. They're about to start fighting. Here we go. And wait, did your guy just turn invisible? What in the world? Oh, here we go, Rainy. The battle is really on. Let's see who's gonna win. Come on. My guy's definitely gonna win. Here we go. Here we go. And wait, did my guy just die? Ha <laughs> ha. I'm so much better. My guy's too OP. Okay, Rainy. Well, don't get cocky yet. You just won one round. And I'm not gonna take it easy on you in the next round. So let's move on to that. All right, guys, it's the next round and we kind of just lost the last round. So we can't let that happen again. We have to win this one. So of course, let's see what Rainy's gonna be spawning this time. And wait, it seems like he just spawned in a creeper. Wait, this is actually gonna probably turn into something super scary. Oh no, let's see what it turns into. Oh my gosh, did it just turn into a robot creeper? Oh man, this guy looks pretty powerful. Well, I didn't think it was gonna have to come to this, but since we have to win this mob battle, we're gonna have to use our secret weapon. We're gonna be spawning in Godzilla. And Godzilla is basically just like a baby version of Godzilla. And once we splash it with our horror potion, it's gonna turn absolutely OP. So let's just go over here and splash it a few times and let's see what it turns into. And oh my gosh, what in the world is this? This thing looks insane. And wait, is it already shooting fireballs everywhere already? What in the world? Oh no, look, it's trying to break the wall. Oh my gosh, this guy is absolutely insane. And he is shooting stuff all over the place. And look at his face. This guy looks so scary. I think it turned into some sort of robot Godzilla. This thing is insane. Well, anyway, since we're definitely gonna win this round, let's just ask Rainy if he wants to drop the walls. Rainy, are you ready to drop down the walls? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, Rainy, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, is that Godzilla? Yes, it is. And wait, I think it just one-shotted your creeper thing. Wait, no. Wait, did you just spawn in more? That's not fair. Well, I mean, it's fine. My guy cannot die. He's like invincible. Come on, creepers. Come on. Oh my gosh. This is such an easy round. Well, anyways, Rainy, I guess I win that round. Oh, man. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to hit like and subscribe and click on one of the videos on the screen if you want to watch more.